How y'all are? I'm glad for you to see me again on tea. I'm gonna taste this jambalaya first. Let's just go ahead on and cook. Get the part of the chicken that I like. Turtle stew, come here, boy. Mm. You know that looks good? This is going to be good, I guarantee you. Talk to it like it you knows what I'm talking about. I like it, it's good. I believe in easy cooking, believe me, I do. How y'all are? I'm glad for you to see me again on tea. And this morning, we're gonna cook some of my favorite dishes that uh, I invented myself because I didn't have anything else to cook, so I had to cook it, like chili rice and chicken a la Creole. I didn't invent that, but I did chili rice. And I think that uh, you'll like it. In fact, I guarantee you will. Now, I've got some stories to tell you, but first of all, I got to get this chili rice on so I can get it did quick enough for us to eat. This is a small pot. And what I got right here is two cups of rice. Now this is easy cooking, so you got, got a lot of help. Somebody cut the rice up for me, that's good. Into this rice, I'm gonna haul off and put a tablespoonful of onion powder. That's a tablespoonful of onion powder. I hope it is, that's what it is. <laughs> I, can, I can tell. And also, two teaspoonful of garlic powder. That's right, that's what it is. <laughs> and I got two teaspoonful of salt, and I generally measure those myself, because people don't believe I know how. So I'm gonna put two teaspoonful of salt. And I guarantee that's a teaspoonful. I'll tell you that for true. One. Two, and just a little more. <laughs> then we put a tablespoonful of chili powder. Now this is chili rice, this is chili powder. Eat chili, make you sneeze if you don't look up. And then, of course, I got to stir it up. Stir it all together, we got everything in I'm supposed to have, except the olive oil, and I put that in after I got the water in there. Get that out of my way. And after I put the water in there, I'll stir it some more, then I'll put the olive oil. And then I'll start cooking it. Let me put the water in right now. Give me a picture. That picture now doesn't have a hole to hold it, you know that? And I'll cook my rice, cook this rice, just like I do any other rice. I measure it very carefully where I have the rice. And by golly, we had just enough in there. <laughs> You see, you see what I did? What I did there now, I just put to that first joint, and everybody's first joint in the finger is just alike. Check your neighbor there. See if it That's in your index finger, I think they call it. Oh, I'm glad I got this little dish towel. And then I put, I got the salt, I put the olive oil. And I'm supposed to measure that very carefully, but I don't do that. It's got two tablespoons. I can measure two tablespoons by looking at that. That's two tablespoons. <laughs> I guarantee it is. Put that back out of my way and stir this some more. And I'm gonna move my pot over to this other side. No, I'm not gonna move this pot over there. Make that chicken a la Creole in that. Oh man, that's gonna be good, yeah. I guarantee. Stir it, get everything off the bottom. And we put this fire and bring this to a quick boil. I think this is the right one. Yeah, that's it. I got that on high. I let it stay there for a little bit and cook. That's hot. If you think high ain't hot, well, I'll guarantee. And I got everything in there, and all I'm doing now, I want you to know that this is easy to fix. This is easy cooking. I put all the ingredients except the olive oil in there. You notice that. Onion powder, 
garlic powder, long grain rice, salt and chili powder, and olive oil. Now that's easy cooking, it really is. I think you're gonna en enjoy that. And then I've got this little clock. After I boil most of the water out of them, I, uh, in fact, you just see a little bubble in the hole to the right like that. You see a little bubble and then you got enough water out, you put a heat diffuser under it. That's what I have to put on there. This is a heat diffuser. So it won't, uh, won't scorch them rice too. I don't like to scorch them rice, no, not me. It don't taste good when it's scorched like that. And uh, then, uh, then I uh, put the lid on it, and I, I, I clock it 25 minutes. And if anybody comes and raises the lid on there, chop their arm off and shoot. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm cooking in my kitchen, I tell everybody, don't go messing around in my kitchen. But I stir this rice several times to be sure I've got everything just right. And it, it looks just right to me right now. It's going to be a beautiful brown when I get it cooked. And you all will sample a little bit of it, I hope. In fact, I'm gonna make you do that. I hold the gun over and say, you got to taste this, you know. But I like it, it's good. Now what I'm gonna do is just leave it here out of the way and change my recipe, because I got to start on this uh, chicken a la Creole. That'd take a little longer than this other one. That's a nice spoon, I'm gonna need that on the chicken a la Creole to put it over here like that. Now, I wanna tell you a story. I haven't told this story in a long, long time. It has nothing to do with this. It's a story I want to tell. I got a friend would hunt duck all the time. During the duck season, a lot of time not in season, he goes and hunts the duck. He don't never took anybody with him. When they say, we're gonna take you with him, no, you can't go with me, I don't took anybody with me. I say, he said, you got your dog? I say, I always take Fido with me, and he spelled it P-H-I-D-E-A-U-X, Fido. <laughs> he said, I always take him to a retrieve those duck if I got no shot him. Please take him, no, can't do it. But one day, a man would loan him some money to build a beautiful house, what he got. He said, I would like to go with you to hunt some duck. He said, I don't took somebody with me to hunt some duck, no. He said, how you like this house, what I loaned you the money for, huh? or oh, I love this house. He said, how about taking you to hunt some duck, huh? Well, you don't got to hit that kid in the face with a wet mop. He knows something going on. He said, okay. And it was cold weather. He said, pick me up tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. o'clock in the morning, we'll go in the blind and hunt the duck. He said, I'll be here at 4. Next morning at 4 o'clock, he's right there. The man come out there and get in, and he said, where's Fido? He said, we don't need him. He said, look, I ain't gonna wait out in the marsh and hunt them duck, it's too damn cold. Call the dog and let us go. <laughs> come Fido, Fido brought himself, got in the back of the truck, and he went and they got in that P-Rogue boat. Now, anybody that's ever been in the P-Rogue know a P-Rogue ain't even safe for one people, let alone two people and a big dog like Fido. <laughs> he said, well, let's go and get in the blind. So they went and got in the blind. Fido sat just as quiet and nice as he possibly could. And my friend says, man, it looks like we're gonna see some duck today. I guarantee the banking people say, I hope so. Well, they got in the blind all set and everything, and here come some duck. <laughs> <laughs> Give him that feed call, set him right down in front. And that banking people raised up with his shoot gun with two duck out there, bloom, bloom, got both of them at the same time. He said, sent the dog for the duck. He said, them duck ain't going nowhere. He said, sent the dog for the duck. Fido, go get them duck. Trip, 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 right on top of the water. He walk out there, pick up them duck, trip, 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 right back on top of the water and put them down. That bank of people didn't say the word. In a few minutes, here come two more duck, big millard, and a bunch all by themselves. And he called <laughs> Giving that feed call and he sitting right down there. He raised up with his twice barrel carabine, bloom, bloom, killed them duck, dead, dead. The bank of people say, sent the dog for the duck. He said, don't worry about them duck. I know they ain't going nowhere. They dead, dead. He said, sent the dog, let that some more. Let them got some argue about that. He said, Fido, go get them duck. Fido, tip, 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 right on top of the wall. Picked them duck up, tip, 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 right back on top of the wall, put the duck down. 
that banking people didn't say a word. He said, I didn't say something at first because I believe my eyes were playing a trick on me. But did you see that dog walk out there on top of the motor, pick up them duck, walk back on top of the motor and put them duck down, huh? He said, yeah, and that embarrassed me more than I never told you. I never could have taught that damn dog how to swim. <laughs> Now you notice I got a good high ball on this, and what I got to do is kind of cut it down a little bit so that it'll put it on a medium, so it'll still cook, and cook all the water out of there, and it turn the color, turn it a nice brown there. Now ain't that nice? I <laughs> guarantee it is. Now over here, I got another pot, and I'm going to change place with that, put that there, because they got to go on there. And then here, I'm gonna make a, a chicken a la Creole. And we got all kind of stuff got to go in there, pretty stuff, and I'm gonna put it in there. Let me kind of clean up this a little bit and get it out of my way so I can get this other stuff a little closer to me. Yeah. Now, what I've done to show you how easy cooking is, I've used dried vegetables and everything except I got, the, this is wet hot sauce. This is good wet steak sauce, and all of these are tom tomatoes. We, we'll tell you about them as we put them in there. But this is a, this makes for about six, seven, it depends on who's hungry, but it comes out real good. I got a, a quarter of a cup of dried onion, right here. I'm gonna do that with that. No, I'm not either. I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna put it in this pot right there, just like this. Don't drop it in there. At least I thought I was. <laughs> I'm going to use this little spoon. That, oh, they, they don't took up all the water. That's good stuff. Put it in there. And get it all out of there too. Don't be messing around and leaving it under good dry on. They taste just like regular. You never know the difference when you taste this. may have to use you again, I can tell. And then I put in there, according to this recipe I got here, a tablespoonful of dried green onion. You see that? Those are dried green onion. Put them in there too. You know if I haven't got any fire under there? Because I don't have enough water to have fire yet. And I'm gonna put some chicken stock in there. And then when I put some on, Dry parsley, this with dry parsley. Put that water on there. It makes it go good. Here it go. Put all this in here just like, and get all that parsley out because parsley helps flavor things. I don't, I don't use a, a lot of celery to cook because all you taste is celery a lot of times, so I don't use a lot of that. Now, and then, corner this thing here, I put a teaspoon a teaspoon full of garlic powder. That's one teaspoon full of garlic powder. We'll put that on there. We didn't put water over that. We didn't have to. And then I put in here dried mint. I'm gonna wait a little bit to put that dried mint. What I'm gonna do is put some other stuff in there so I can stir her up. And what I'm gonna put in there right now is some rotel. No, I'm not. I'm going to put white wine first, just a little wine. That's to take the bitterness out of tomatoes. Tomatoes have a bitterness in them. Onion have a bitterness in them. I'm going to put a little water. Look, that's a, a cup of white, white Chablis wine. It's good enough to drink. If it ain't good enough to drink, don't cook with it. You hear me? <laughs> just remember that. Go ahead and cook there, boy. I'll have to stir my rice one more once. Yeah, it's going good. Yes, it is. Take it off the bottom. Have to lower that fire some more while I'm thinking about it. Lower the fire a little bit more. Then I'll put it on simmer when I put this heat diffuser under there. Now, this is a medium, this is a, a, a low, medium low fire. It's just still cooking. Now, I'll go ahead and fix this uh, chicken ala creole. Now, what I'm going to put on that is some chicken stock. 
when we boil the chicken, and I'm gonna turn that fire on too, right this minute. Let's go here, boy. If you can find the right thing, got it. Fire lights right away. Put it on high and stir. You got to stir this a little bit. And you're looking good there. Now I'm gonna put some Rotel. They ain't nothing in the world but seasoned spiced tomatoes. That's all they are, but they're good. I like them very much. Rotel. If you think that ain't hot, you're wrong. It is hot. Put it on there like that. And then I put some eat or canned whole tomatoes. But we, we squashed them up real good, see, so that we wouldn't do We would put them in there. And we would, it would be easier to eat real like that. And we're going to put that in there. This is uh, just good old whole tomatoes. You could use fresh tomatoes if you wanted, wanted to, put them in a blender or something like that, but that, that's too hard. This is easy cooking. I'm trying my best to do today, and I'm going to do it. Look at that. Good. Now I'm going to put a, oh, three tablespoons full of steak sauce. Creole ketchup, it used to be called, but it's now steak sauce. Whenever you put anything in there, always stir. Just stir a little bit. How many tablespoons? Two tablespoons. That's what my recipe called for. I can't remember three tablespoons for a steak salt, yeah. One, two, three. One of them tablespoons wasn't quite full. Let's add a little bit more to it. Got it going. All right. And then it says in the recipe to put some hot sauce, a little down of hot sauce, or some cayenne pepper, whichever one or two. The two I'm going to put about less than a, less than a teaspoonful in because I know that the rotel is in there. So what I'm going to do is put about that's a half a teaspoon. I'd bet money on it, I guarantee <laughs> And then I got to stir. There we go. Hmm. You know that spoon gets hot in there? I guarantee you do it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Let me tell you something, not ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be good, I guarantee. I got the cup of tomatoes in there, everything. And the only thing I don't have in there, two things. I haven't got the dried mint in there, and I don't got the chicken in there. But I'm going to put it in there, don't worry none. I guarantee I'm going to do that. Got the onion, the green onion, the good uh, parsley and the garlic powder with uh, two cups of, of chicken stock. That's what that is. Plus the water that you use to get the the, the dried vegetables to not be dry some more, you know. Now, I got all that right there. And what I'm going to do is put that chicken with that right this minute if I can get to it. Get out of my way and give me that dish towel. That's the handiest thing in the world a dish towel is. I couldn't cook what I want. Come here, old, old chicken. Now, what we did, we boiled this chicken. These are nothing but second joints. They call it the, the tie in all these big shoot places. And uh, we didn't cook that. I'm going to put a lid on that in just a second. This chicken let me, was cooked in seasoned water. Tastes good, too. You're going to need another thing. So we're going to put that in there and put the dried mint. Now, you notice I'm using dried mint. I used to use bay leaf all the time. I love bay leaf. But bay leaf is a, a known taste killer. You put too much bay leaf, ain't nothing you can do about it. It's going to stay there. It's gonna, all you're going to taste is bay leaf. So I don't use it anymore. I use mint, and it's easier to handle, and it doesn't kill the, doesn't take over the flavor. 
And people wonder what they taste in is men. That's what they taste in. Not, well, not to tell them that, but that's what it is. And I got to bring this to a boil. And it's going to come to a boil in a minute. Now, put the chicken to it. See, I put it, that shit looks like white meat. It's tired. Come off a white chicken. <laughs> This is a full cup of this, four cups of, of white tires. I just tie tie. I never will forget I was in in, in Shreveport, Texas once with a man. We went to a chicken place and had some chicken. He was from Markville, Louisiana, in, in the vault. Pure bleed, pure bleed Cajun. And the little waitress came over and said, can I do anything for you? He said, yes, ma'am. He, he said, I would like to have two tires and a wing. She looked at me kind of funny. She said, what do you say? He said, I would like to have two ties in a wing. And she looked at me and said, what did he say? I said, he said he wanted two ties in a wing. I thought she was going to hit us both. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she should have. Now, this I got to put a lid on this rice. It's a uh, chili rice. You can see it it's all of the... Let's just heat defuse it down first. Put the lid and turn the fire down to a simmer. And you let that simmer. It ain't down to a simmer yet, but it's got to get on there. Now it is. I'm going to let that simmer for 25 minutes. That's what it's going to do. Now, what I got to do is get my food over there where I can taste this to be sure it's worth eating. Now, I'm going to put a lid on this pot, too. But I got to turn that fire down after I put the lid on it. I want to get a little of this rice. Got it right here. Come here, rice. That's not too hot for me to handle. What I want to do is get my plate and bring it over here. That'd be a lot easier, but I may spill that. I don't want to do that. And get my chicken a la Creole. I fixed up when nobody was looking. It still tastes the same, though, I guarantee. And go over here and put this on my plate. Hmm. 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 But first, I'm going to put a little on. Um, that chili rice in there. It's hot, yeah. Come here, chili rice. Gotcha. And I'm going to use this spoon to get some chili rice on that. Just a little. All I want is a little. And the same spoon, I'll go get some of this chili, some of this chicken a la Creole, and just put it on my the rice. I didn't cook it in white rice. I had chili rice, and it's good enough. Now, sit yourself down and taste that juice. Damn, I'm going to do just exactly that. And pour myself just a little taste of wine. You know how that is? A little taste of wine. Now, you're supposed to use that white wine, but it's chicken, but I'll, I prefer red wine. So that's what I'm going to drink right now. Yeah, let's go. Got to taste that. See if it's any good. Mmm, hmm. Mmm, hmm. Mmm, hmm. I guarantee that's good. Mm, mm, mm. No napping, but I got my dish towel. <laughs> mm. And a little taste of wine is to you, bless your heart.
Meshack. For more information and a complete line of fine Justin Wilson products, visit www.justinwilson.com or you may call 228-207-5379. Mesha, that's the Justin Wilson Fine Products. Justinwilson.com That is good.